Hello YouTube Gamer Dad here. Uh, this would be video number 27 in our 2D Space Shooter tutorial series in XNA 4.0. Uh, I know I've been gone for a couple of days, um, but as I've been telling you the last couple of videos, I've been super busy uh, with school and stuff. So um, uh, what we're going to go over in this one is we already did our states, right? We set up our states in the last video and uh, we just got the base, so if we play it right now, uh, we're starting the game at our menu, which is just blank and nothing happens right now, okay? Um, and uh, I don't, I wouldn't be surprised if you guys uh, did one of two things uh, since I, since the last video, because I haven't posted one, I don't know, what is it, like a week? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you changed this to game state that state equals, pl or state dot playing, just so you could play the game and not just keep running this and have a blank screen. But uh, uh, once we start this video, just put it back on the menu, because we're going to be working on the menu state. Uh, in this video. It's going to be fairly quick. Alright, so um, the other thing I wouldn't be surprised that you did is actually built your own menu already. Uh, but if you haven't, we'll go over it right now. Okay, so what we're going to need first is we're going to need an image to load for our um, our menu, okay? And I made that very simple one that I displayed in the last uh, video, which after I have did the testing on this, it actually comes out kind of crappy over the star field. But um, it was just a quick edit job and obviously um, you can do better than that. And I'm not going to add my uh, PNG, the menu image, to the zip file because you guys will be making your own. You don't want your, your menu screen to say, you know, Gamer Dad 2D video game or whatever, okay? <clears throat> so from there, let's go ahead and create another. Um, we're just going to be doing uh, most of our stuff in the game one, okay? Uh, go ahead into the game one and uh, create a new variable. It's going to be a public texture 2D. And we're going to call that menu image. Okay, um, let's go into our constructor and we'll set that to null as as good practice. So menu image equals null. Okay, and then down in our load content, we're going to want to load the image for that. So um, if you've already created a menu image, uh, what I did, uh, like I mentioned, is just created a um, a blank um, image in Paint.net uh, to the same dimensions of a uh, of my screen. Okay, and just put whatever text I want there, and I made the background transparent so our star field will be shown behind that, okay? So go ahead and add your image. So it's an existing image. Uh, I have mine right here. I just called it menu image. Okay, and um, now we can go to our load content and load that in there. So menu image equals content.load. It's a texture 2D and I just called it menu image okay so now we have uh, we we created a variable for our menu image we set it to null in our constructor and we loaded the content for it this is all in our game one okay um, so like I said we're working on our menu there's a few things are gonna have to change in here too because um, the way this is working now it's gonna be laggy because uh, what I had, what I did here, which was a mistake, is I'm I have the media, the music playing, in the playing in our update function. So it's trying to, it's just loading a crap ton of these samples every time you play it because it's an update. So it's just going to keep calling this, which we don't want that. We want to call it once and just start playing it, and that's it. Okay. So um, we're going to be moving that in a second. So let's go down here to our uh, updating our menu state, which we have blank right now because we didn't do anything with it last video. And uh, first, we're going to want um, to add, uh, be able for some input because when we hit enter, we're going to want it to go to our playing state. Okay, so um, um, uh, state. Okay, we'll just comment it, and it's keyboard state. Um, we'll just call it key state like we normally do. Equals keyboard dot get state. Okay, so now when we're in our menu, it's going to be checking uh, for keyboard presses um, the whole time, right? Just like our other classes. All right, and then what else we want to enter, and we're going to make an if statement. So we're going to say if key state that is key down, and we're going to say keys, and obviously dot enter. You can make this whatever key you want. Okay, um, do we want a couple things to happen? doesn't have to be enter it's just what I chose for this okay um, then we're gonna say the game state we're gonna change the game state we're gonna equal that to state dot playing 
Okay, so when we're, our, when we're inside of our menu screen and we hit the enter key, it's going to move us to our playing state. Okay, and also this is where we want to run our song. Okay, so let's go up here where we put it in initially in our playing state. We'll cut that out and we'll go down here. I'll explain why we're doing this in a second. Okay, so what's happening here is when we're in our menu state and we hit enter, it's going to switch to our playing state and just play the song. Okay, so that, and then we're out of the menu state, so it's not updating that anymore. So we only run this song once, which is what we want. And I tried this while it was in the playing state, and it completely lagged out the game because it's just constantly trying, and it wouldn't even play the music because it's just constantly trying to replay it over and over again. Okay, so, uh, uh, two more things in here because I told you we're going to have a, our star field kind of scrolling in the background uh, looking cool. So we want to, we want to update our star field. Okay. And that's uh, game time. All right, and then also, um, this is just cosmetic. You don't have to do it if you want, but I, I kind of like it when the star field is growing really slow for the menu screen, and then when we start the, playing the game, you know, it speeds up and you get into the action. So we'll just set our uh, star field speed right here to equal one. So it's just kind of going really slow. All right, and that's it. That's all the updating we're gonna do in our menu um, state, okay, for now. And obviously, you guys can add whatever you want to this, right? Um, if you want to add more keys, you can do another if statement, like if is key down. Maybe you have another state that you created, and it goes to credits, you know, like is key down keys dot C. And then within that, within that, that if uh, statement, you know, you would have it, you know, game state would switch to, to credits, you know, and you'd draw, you know, update whatever in there. But um, for now, we're just going to keep it basic, and uh, you guys can go from there with what you want to do with your game, okay? So this is it for updating menu state. So um, we're gonna go down to our draw now and uh, do the, st the drawing that we need to do for our menu state, okay? Um, this is gonna be really simple. Uh, all we're gonna be drawing in here is the star field. So star field dot draw and it's sprite batch, okay? And then uh, we're gonna add, we're gonna draw our uh, menu image over top of our uh, star field, which we would have to draw that underneath underneath here because remember I said you want to draw everything underneath your star field okay so we'll go sprite batch dot draw and uh, it will just be what did I call it menu image and since I made it the the same dimensions of my screen it's just gonna be new vector 2 and it's just gonna put it at 0 and 0 and then color dot white like we normally do okay and um, that's it for our drawing all we're doing, all we're drawing in our menu state is our star field with our uh, cool main menu image in front of it, okay? Which the background of the whole thing is transparent except for the text, so it's just going to be the star field with text over top of it. And like I said earlier, it does look kind of crappy because I did a horrible job of editing um, that image, but I'm sure you can do a much better job. And so can I if I just took the time to do it. Okay, so um, one other thing we need to do... Um, uh, so basically what's happening is now, since we're setting our, uh, uh, where, where is it in our update? Since we're uh, setting our star field speed to 1, it's just going to stay that way for the rest of the game unless we tell it, tell it otherwise. So go back up to your update uh, in your playing state and just right above that, just set your star field right at the top, set your star field speed uh, back to 5 or whatever speed you want your star field to be running when you're in the playing state. Okay, and uh, that should be it. Um, we can add some music too, but uh, I didn't prepare for that. And uh, you have the music files in the zip file. Uh, so if you wanted to go, you know, and go into your sound manager and add another song, um, you know, for like menu music, and then you could just come back in here and you could just call um, the menu music uh, right up at the top. Um, right up in your constructor because since we're starting with the menu you can just call your song right at the constructor because it's going to be starting the game and you can just run that song okay and I might do that between videos and uh, maybe show you on the next one just real quick uh, how I did it okay but this should be it um, we can build it and play okay so notice how I said uh, I didn't do a too too good of a job <laughs> editing the uh, the transparency in some of these uh, letters and stuff but you get the point of it right um, so we got our star space field background just uh, scrolling in the background going real slow at speed one because that's what we set it to in the menu update 
Um, and I just, you know, put, and then we're just overlaying our image with the transparent background over top of that. Okay, and now if we hit uh, the enter key, it brings us right to our game. And it brings us right in. Alright. So basically that's it. Um, this is probably longer than I thought it was going to be, but a uh, uh, very quick run through. Um, to our to our game1.cs, we did all our work in here. We, we just created a menu image variable, uh, set it to null, um, uh, loaded its content, and then in our update function for our menu, we're um, getting our keyboard state every frame. Uh, we're saying that if we press enter, we want the game state to change to playing and we want to start our, our music. And then we're just updating our star field and, and changing the star field speed to one. Okay, and then in our draw, all we're doing is drawing our star field background and uh, we're drawing our menu image over top of that with the transparent background and that's it. And then uh, just uh, remember that we needed to change the speed for our star field in the playing state because uh, it would just stay at one if we didn't change it. So uh, we just want to make sure to change our star field speed back to whatever we want it while we're actually playing the game. All right, with that, guys, um, if you like the video, toss me a like. Um, I'm trying to get these in when I can, so if it's a few days, you know, between this one and my next video, we're going to be working on the game over state, which all I really plan on doing there, since you now kind of have the gist of how the menu state works, you probably could go on your own and do the game over state, um, you know, just create a game over screen, you know, draw a game over screen over top and just say, you know, hit a, you know, have a key state to grab escape key which will start the game over or bring you to the menu screen or whatever um, but you kind of get the, how these states are working okay in the next video will be the game over state which that'll also be pretty quick uh, with that guys um, I will see you in the next video number 28 when we're working on our, our um, game over state and uh, if you like the series go ahead and subscribe to see when I put these out sooner and uh, peace